Watching WCBI Sunrise Saturday. Welcome back. And we have more rain in the forecast to start off your Father's Day weekend. But right now to start off your Saturday morning, just lots of cloud cover to start off. But as this low pressure system does move across Mississippi, it will be bringing some more showers later this afternoon and towards the early part of your morning time commute. So definitely have that rain jacket handy if you're heading out early this morning and rain will continue through your lunchtime hour, but should be clearing up towards the early part of your afternoon heading towards your evening. So definitely want to have the rain jacket handy if you are headed out the door early this morning. But temperatures are going to be quickly warming up today for your Saturday. We're going to be sitting in the upper 80s today. We'll be at 89 for West Point and Aberdeen and Starkville, 85 for Columbus, 90 in Tupelo and Houston. So definitely a hot and stormy day for your Saturday heading into your Father's Day. Definitely going to be more storms headed our way later this evening and headed towards your weekend. Definitely going to be seeing more of that severe weather headed towards your Father's Day. So definitely stay weather aware this weekend as we have another severe weather risk tomorrow. All right. Thank you much, Ms. McKinley. Well, communities across the country celebrating Juneteenth this weekend with festivals, concerts and other special events. The celebration in Starkville kicked off Wednesday. Our Rosalind Freeman spoke with organizers who say the mission was to make it one that is entertaining, educational and one that involves everyone. The Civil War ended in April of 1865, but it wasn't until General Gordon Granger marched his troops to Galveston, Texas, that enslaved African Americans heard life-changing news. So on that day, June 19th, 1865, uh, the some 250,000 African Americans who, who resided in Texas learned uh, that the Civil War had indeed ended and that they were free. That day birthed a new celebration, now called Juneteenth. Dr. Don Schaefer is the director of African American Studies at Mississippi State. He says the name of the holiday expresses and represents uniqueness. The, the name of the holiday reflects, you know, uh, black culture, you know, the black vernacular. You know, we, we took both words, June and 19th, and made them one word, you know, so it reflects sort of the linguistic creativity of black people. 156 years later, under the Biden administration, Juneteenth became a national holiday, and Dr. Schaefer believes this is an important acknowledgement. You know, I, I think it is as important as that other Independence Day that we're going to be celebrating uh, in, in a few weeks because, you know, it, it, it commemorates the moment when the nation finally um, lives up to its founding ideals of freedom, liberty, and justice for all. President of the Stark Vegas Juneteenth Committee for Unity, Frank Nichols, says events will spread across the city to share more culture. We wanted to make sure that we um, put them all over the city of Starkville because African Americans exist all over the city of Starkville. But we wanted to make sure when we do the events, the events were catered to everybody. We want to bring in not just black people, but all culture. And at the center of celebration, Nichols says there's always room for education. I want to educate them about the African-American culture. That's a whole culture that exists because of our um, ancestors who were former slaves. Because of that, a whole culture was born. Nicholas and Schaefer agree that as the community celebrates together, it is a time to recognize similarities that unite instead of focusing on differences. I think you know, it's important for community to celebrate because it allows us to to celebrate, you know, the things that make us unique, you know, as individual communities and cultures. But it also allows us to establish common ground to understand that we are more alike than we are different. You know, Starkville celebration continues throughout the weekend with a festival tonight, a jazz concert Saturday night, and a gospel concert Sunday. There will be a youth art gallery Monday at J.L. King Park. Columbus and West Point also hosting Juneteenth events this weekend. And a quick note, the Juneteenth celebration for Tupelo has been postponed because of expected bad weather. Organizers say the parade will take place today at 1 o'clock, but all other activities have been rescheduled for July 1st. Well, coming up on Sunrise Saturday, we'll tell you about a benefit for La Bonner that also means a fun time for dads and daughters. Get your dancing shoes on. We'll explain right after the break. <laughs> 